Let's talk about increasing the percents. If something has increased by 5%, then it is greater than 100%. It's 100 plus 5, or 105% of what it is. Here is an example to demonstrate an increasing percentage. Mei Ling has just received a 10% increase in her monthly salary. If she was making 3200 a month, what will her monthly salary be now? Now in this case, we're looking for her entire salary. Mei Ling's salary has been increased by 10%, so now it would be 110% of what it was. The percent equation becomes, what is 110% of $3,200? We'll use the equivalent fractions ratios and substitute in the values and solve for the unknown. Mei Ling's new salary is $3,520 per month. Here is a slightly different question. Read the question carefully and see if you notice the difference in what is being asked. Mei Ling has just received a 10% increase in her monthly salary. If she was making $3,200 a month, what will her monthly increase be? In this question, we are asking for what is the increase in her salary. Our percent equation becomes what is 10% of $3,200? Write the equivalent ratios and substitute in the values. When we solve for the unknown, we get an answer of $320. This is how much more Mei Ling is making per month. Here is another example. Gurpreet watched the price of gas go from $1.20 per liter in 2017 to $1.41 per liter. What is the percent increase in cost of the gas? We're looking for the increased amount. So how much did the price of gas increase? $1.41 minus $1.20 is 21 cents. The price of gas increased by 21 cents. Our percent equation becomes 0.21 is what percent of 1.20? Write the equivalent fractions. Substitute in the values and solve the equation. This time we're solving for percent. To isolate the percent, multiply both sides by 100 and we come up with an answer of 17.5%. This is the percentage increase in the price of gas. The key steps to solving these kinds of problems. 1. Read the question carefully. 2. Notice what you are given and what you want to find. 3. Set up and solve the equivalent ratios. 4. Answer the question. And always check to see if your answer is reasonable.